Thinking I'm blind, cross on my crosses and dot on my eyes. Done with your efforts, I'm dealing. So for me, I really, really hate fashion. I don't know what it is. It's probably some weird rebellious nature, uh, but I don't like clothing and branding and in that sense of like Gucci or whatever. Um, I like to find brands I love that I can rely on their brand itself. Um, but I hate fashion and walkways and buying a lot of clothes, but I love style. Style is super interesting to me. Uh, it's like design. Style can be in a commercial, it can be in a drawing, it can be art, it can be whatever. Uh, I look at style like as a personal style that has nothing to do with clothing. I look at style in my personal style as something that I can control and something that I can develop and kind of like think about beforehand. I don't just go out and just buy random clothing. I think about what I want and I go find it. And sometimes it can take a year, sometimes it can take longer. And you know, sometimes I buy something and then I don't like it. It's just kind of how it goes. Uh, I forgot to put something in my hair. I just got recently got this stuff. Kevin Murphy. Uh, it's pretty sweet. It's actually kind of my new favorite thing. You only need a little bit, like teeny, teeny, tiny bit. And for me, it's cool because it's not shiny because I've had this shiny stuff forever. And uh, I like kind of a more of a messy look lately. Um, it just works for this new cut I have where I just kind of put it in and that's it. It's really great. Uh, it's nice. It's nice. It's, I, I definitely recommend it. It's so good. I mean, my haircut, I'm really happy with it. Christian's always killed it. So, um, so this is the outfit for the day. Uh, the shirt's pretty awesome because it's black, but not completely black. And that's kind of one of the things I'm doing with my style is I'm trying to get away from just completely black. Um, I like the idea of bringing in a lot more gray. And we're going to get into that in a second. Uh, but this, I love black jeans. I love black tops. I love, actually, I, I'm just trying to get more color. Uh, so this to me is like color. Um, and it's because it's a different tone, it's different luminosity. And uh, as far as shoes go, I have my fries. They're pretty beat, but at this point, they were a dress shoe, and uh, now they're kind of, they're more of a rugged shoe. Uh, they're pretty great. So I have this ongoing joke with myself because I don't talk to anybody else that there is always a jackhammer in New York. I don't understand. This place is kind of a hellhole, but this is right outside my window. Check this. make any sense why this is possible. I don't understand how there can be this much work every single day of the year. Always a jackhammer. It's insane. I don't understand. So what I'm on about is that I want to change my style and upgrade it from basically all black. Like I'm sick of looking like a ninja. Um, I just don't think it's a good look anymore. Um, I like to have Pops color lately. Um, I'm just getting some new boots from Red Wing, which is awesome. Uh, thank you, Red Wing. I hope to work with them more. I really love their stuff. It's a lot more rugged than my style. Point is that I'm evolving in just like one little uptick. And the way I'm doing that is stopping to wear just black. Ninja. Now I'm kind of doing black. And well, before I was doing black everywhere except for pieces of color. Ninja. Now I'm kind of thinking, why don't I do mostly gray and add color? And the reason that this is, is because I'm approaching my style like a design. So I'm kind of imagining a web page. I don't want it to be so dense and heavy. I kind of want to have a little bit more life in it. And if it was gray, it would feel a lot lighter, but not super white. Like I don't like white in general. I'm thinking, why don't I get some gray jeans? I haven't had some in a really long time, at least none that I really loved. They were like Uniqlo or something that are like pretty fine. They're fine jeans, but 
I wanna go to get nudies, like the jeans I'm wearing. Um, the other brand I love of jeans are Peter Manning. All right, so at this point in the vlog, I think generally people do like coffee or something, so let's make some coffee. You know, as long as I'm consuming like under 10 calories, it's fine. I'm not eating the calories, so I'm in a deficit and that's one of the reasons I do the fasting. Uh, but anyways, back to the topic at hand, which is that I realized that I hate blue. I realized this a couple years ago, uh, but I just have this whole bag of here, clothes here, that I just, I'm getting rid of at later this week. And it's basically all blue clothing. Um, I don't like it. I don't understand why everybody wears it. I think it's a really gross color in general. I like browns, blacks, grays, burgundy, uh, greens, teals. Midnight teal is my favorite color. Skin tones, all of these tones, like just general earth tones. And blue just seems so weird it's like purple too like i don't like purple that much magenta's fine uh but th that those cold tones i'm just not really into them not i like i like a cyan um but that's not blue so i'm getting rid of all of my blue clothing and never buying them again i don't even like them on other people like blue jeans i think they look stupid to be honest like it's such a clashing tone, especially with most people don't understand that it doesn't work with their skin tones. Rambling a bit, but the whole thing is that I think that my style now will evolve to be much more colorful in the very analogous warm toning. Uh, so I wanted to pick up some gray jeans from Nudie today, or at least go try on because they've, they change their cut all the time. They don't carry the cut that I'm wearing right now, which is fine because for me, I will allow the industry and the fashion world to kind of dictate things a little bit. Like, I don't care enough to pay attention. Oh, there's new cuts that are more stylish now. Sure, let me find what works. Uh, whatever fits, uh, the cuts can be different. Uh, it's just, as long as it fits and then falls in my taste, I'm cool with evolving that. So what you're seeing here is an example of pop of color. So I got my burgundy shirt. Got the scarf, and generally everything else is gray or black. Uh, basically, <laughs> anything dark is kind of what I'm gravitating towards. Um, and dark colors are okay now in my book, and that's kind of what I'm evolving. But to do this, I wanted to kind of get something else that was gray, which is what I'm looking for at Nudie. I'm gonna be looking for some gray jeans. and. Yeah, I just want to try on some and hopefully we can find some, but my body shape is so weird. My legs are shaped like uh, ice cream cones. Everything is really tough to find anything that fits. So that's the challenge. Sometimes nudie works, sometimes their pockets are too low, sometimes the waists are too long. So for somebody my height, I struggle a lot. So hopefully we'll get lucky. just left nudie and I cannot believe it. I actually had something that fit. Uh, I did try some new cuts and it's interesting to, you know, try something new. Uh, they're an in-between of two of my jeans. Um, and it's interesting, I asked the guy about why certain cuts get deleted and it is, it's kind of like the whole industry and what sells or not. And. Uh, it's just kind of the stuff I was wearing has been phased out. So it's kind of interesting to try some new stuff. I'm gonna do some self shots later, uh, but I am right near my friend's bar and uh, he's actually there. It's uh, Rochelle's, the best bar in New York. And uh, I'm gonna go over there and we're gonna do some shots. I'll get some video if I can, but also good news is that Nudie also gonna be working with them and see if we can do some kind of like overhauls or stuff like that so I can share more of what they do. They're a really great company to work with. So, uh, yeah. Um, so let's go to Brett. 
Thank you. There he What's is. What's up, buddy? What up, dude? Def Leppard, and <laughs> That's awesome. Motley Crue, and Poison, because awesome. they're all on tour this summer. No shit, really? All three of them. Def Leppard, Motley That's Crue, awesome. and Poison. So That's, That's awesome. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, they're all You look good. Thanks. Yeah. I, I took this down a bunch. Yeah. I can see. It, you, it's, uh, it's just the way to go. Kind of. It's less I work, you know? Problems, problems, I run through the money. The pressure be calling. Left on my blessings. I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression. It's all that I wanted. So it seems a little bit minor, black to gray. But the whole point is to show getting out of your comfort zone and try something, anything, and kind of allow things to develop as you approach them. It can be really, really tough to change how you see everything. And, you know, just those little minor adjustments can really, really shift how you see everything. You can start to accept how things just generally have become. And you can get over yourself and the way you saw it and your rigidity to the situation. It's not easy and you have to be very open-minded to kind of just make those little incremental things, but they're really small. But when you do something like that and you step out of your comfort zone, you really can kind of get excited about the things. I'm really excited just to do these things. I'm going to go get some shots, and I think that you'll agree that it's a nice little shift. And for me, approaching and adding more browns and burgundies and tones into the whole design of how I see myself is really, really kind of, for me personally, deliberately profound. So for me, it's a big deal because I don't do that kind of thing. Or I used to, but I feel like I can go back to it and have a better sense of how to work it and understand coloring a little more. So I hope to shift to a lot more browns and grays than blacks and whites, uh, stuff like that. So less monochromatic and more like ambery tonal uh, color palette. I just got home and I got a package from my Amazon order, so let's check it out. So I got earplugs for Subway and just New York. See, so the thing with New York is it's really loud all the time, like I mentioned with the jackhammers. And you know, sometimes I don't want to add sound to muffle out other sound, I just want to take it out. And it's just so much more relaxing. It's just a better way to be, I feel like, when you're in New York. You'd be surprised. The subways, there was some study saying it's like crazy amount of decibels really damages your ears. Um, so, yeah. Um, and then I got this eye cream stuff, which I will do a video on itself or a photo thing. This is earphone replacement things. Polarizer filter. This is awesome. I'm going to make a video on that. And then this guy, I'm really excited about. Now this little guy, it's crazy, it's super expensive, but everybody's like, this thing is awesome. All the reviews and everything like that. So, but I mean, check it out. So if I turn it on and I put it up to full blast, really, really powerful. This thing can just go anywhere. It gets really, really strong. I mean, it's always gonna be good for like, say, a backlight, hair light, something like that. Yeah, I just don't really understand how people always do these unboxings. I, I see it all the time on Instagram. Like, how do you hold the camera and do an unboxing? And I, I don't understand. Money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression is all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and dub it. Because I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I solve them. I run through the money. The press will be For me, I like to treat it like graphic design so i put in the color palette of everything but blue basically it's pretty on brand for me it's just exciting for me to kind of spread into less black ninja and less heaviness it's still like dark but less heavy i feel like it's more appropriate for where i am and my well-being at this point in my life i'm a, I'm a little bit happier these days than say uh, about a a year ago um, so I want to represent that, but I don't want to wear a bunch of pink, although that'd be cool. Magenta is pretty badass, but the whole point is I'm designing it. And that's kind of what I want to teach you guys and show you that you can design your style without it being fashion. Now with this channel, in this tweaking that I want to be doing with it, is I want to be sharing insight, not just education on how you can brand yourself by design and that's kind of what I want to do I want to coach people 
and I'm still feeling out how to do it in a personal way versus being commercial. Um, so the way I'm seeing this design, how you might be able to take something away and apply it is for me, I really pull these colors from film, like the tones of film, the dark blues shadows, which is like a midnight blue is just actually like a cyan and uh, you know, the warm skin tones and all that business. Uh, it's all pulled from film because I'm really here in New York and everything I love has to do with movies. So my color palette comes from like a Kodachrome, Kodak type of business. And that's kind of my inspiration. And if you were to be actually watch that Justin Bieber design thing, which I will expire, I'll be removing that in the next month or so. I go insight into how the design came up with this look and how you can kind of get a similar thing. Now I just saw Casey Neistat wearing a pink hoodie, maybe influenced by it, maybe it's just clothing, all that business. But if you apply something that you really, really love, such as movies or say it's a car, whatever, and you take that color palette and you kind of apply it to your own business, that's a good start. And that's kind of what this one's all about is I'm shifting my color palette from something I used to love, which was, you know, really dark blacks and uh, really, really dark grays to lifted blacks, lifted grays, just a little more happier, but still in the broodiness. Wow, this. And I kind of wanted to do more of this rawness because it's another thing I'm interested in is sharing more of insight again, not just straight up education. I think that this is almost long form and I don't have to really script it out as much. Might be more enjoyable to you guys. Let me know if you like this format because it's a lot of work. So if you're not digging it, I'm happy to not do it. Uh, actually, I'll keep doing it anyways, but I want to get good at it, then I'll see if I want to keep doing it. All right, until next time, over.